Yeah, it's grip day. Yeah, I loaded up the aluminum that I don't need, the copper, and the uh, brass. I don't know, the copper actually probably will do all right. Somewhere upwards of 15 pounds, you figure a pound for, for the bucket. I used to weigh that on the, uh, on the uh, uh, fishing scale, but I can't find it now. <laughs> Too much junk. Uh, yeah, uh, stainless steel. Uh, it's not a high money, but I'm never far from a speaker magnet, and if it's magnet doesn't stick and it's high finish, oh, that's not good. Two of them stuck. Those can't go. Get more of them too quick. No. Uh, those two are okay. You know what that is? That's actually. I uh, use them for other purposes, but that's actually inside your wiper blades. Some of them are. Some of them are. Uh, uh, stainless and some some aren't. But at least when I when I get a hold of it, it doesn't end up in the scrap. I wanted to say thank you to Ed Goslin. He just gave me a shout out. And, you know, I I really started this. I I don't know. I I I never figured I'd exceed a hundred subscribers. And uh, it you know it's something I just whatever interests me is what I tend to talk about. And uh, I, thank you, Ed. And <laughs> Kev at Kev's Can Cave. He he keeps me. <laughs> keeps me going whenever I whenever I gain a few subscribers I go over to his channel and I check to see what he's doing and yeah he's up a few more so he's he's growing pretty steady not not fast but steady but uh, I really enjoy what he does he's got a nice collection and uh, I wanted to uh, wanted to uh, for Ed at Castlin Farms uh, he had a he had a punch and I suspected that was for for uh, sweating sweating uh, uh, seals together on a drain pipe. Now this one came to me in a pile of stuff, and the only reason it stayed is I don't think it's ever been used, and it is Craftsman. And uh, if you I get here, I'll get you. The contour would be a little bit smaller than those buckets, which are about a foot across. I got one too, but I don't know. Like I say, I think that was for sweating lead into cast iron joints in another in another era. And like I say, that one had never been used. In the spirit of that, I figure I'll give a shout out to, you know, uh, uh, let me preface this by saying I'm always thrilled when bigger channels show up making comments on my other, on my channel. You know, guys, I never dreamed it. Uh, you know they're pretty busy with their stuff and they put a lot of effort into their videos I just wander around and do a quick video of whatever interests me and I'm still amazed people come and watch but uh, in this in Ed's spirit here I think I'll, I'll do a couple shout outs I'll just say uh, in passing I'll I'll mention old camp ranch Rick is up in uh, northeastern Arizona and he uh, he uh, got a bee landed on my nose, or maybe a yellow jacket. I don't know. I didn't want it there. Anyhow, uh, he's up in northeastern Arizona. He's got a few head of stock, and he model railroader. He's got kind of a neat deal going on there. And there's another guy out somewhere along the eastern seaboard, I think Maryland, but uh, dancing alone with rentals. That guy, he, he owns rental properties, and he... Uh, He's all the time fixing something, and he does some really nice scores on tools and usable stuff. Well, like I say, thank you, everybody. Uh, thanks. Bye.